I have taught many tangos at Stockton over the years, and there's been one major problem with all of them. They've all been sequences. And that's fine for once in a while, but to have only sequences misses out the freestyle tango, which most of tango has been for most dancers over the ages, ever since the beginning of the 20th century. So this will be a session in leading and following some social dance figures. And in social tango, it's unlike living tradition tango argentino, that's one form. It's unlike competition ballroom, which is another form. But these are the steps which have continued from the original and are pretty much similar with minor variations, sometimes some major variations, in different countries around the world, different towns and villages around this country. So these are a few steps that social tango might have in common with other tango. We talked about the frame first, that's the connection to your partner. And we talked about the importance of having it mostly at the same line instead of two different levels. We talked about the man's right arm around her. This is like a shelf here that her hand is on so the elbows touch. This hand pulling, pushing back. Her arm pushes and braces out and her arm is also that same level. So it works like this. And as you can see, the elbows are lightly touching, not like this. And we have a little bit more contact. We have a firm arm hold who can lead together and make moves together as one, gently. Well, we have soft, comfortable hands, so nothing hurts. It's all gentle. For the purpose of leading your partner, taking your partner with you clearly, comfortably, gently. And every little moment, whether it's a cross step through, is led. And even staying there for a moment is led. And if his right elbow is a little bit farther in front, up there, it's a square frame, which is ideal for those steps that go forward and back. So with that in mind, these are the steps that we did. And we can do them to some quiet tango music. The early steps would have the lady going straight back, like this. And then maybe a little tango corte. Of stringing this together. 
and one was to walk for a while and do, then do a step in place, like the ocho. And another one that we had was a molinetto, a rocking step like this. Just rocking forward and back and turning. So we can promenade first, and then molinetto. Or you can start with the molinetto. And then continue with something else. And that's 